New polling reveals that the big news about an impeachment inquiry doesn't seem to be really moving the needle in the 2020 Democratic primary, but one presidential hopeful is throwing shade at other candidates trying to fundraise off of the moment. Team Rising is here to weigh in. Kenesha Grant, assistant professor of political science at Howard University, author of The Great Migration and the Democratic Party, and Christy Clark is a staff writer at The Federalist. Welcome to you both. Ladies, Good great morning. to see you both. Thanks. Welcome. You. So as you all know, I love polls. I saw a very interesting new poll that came out recently from Morning Consult. Plus or minus 1%, so it's a very high Good quality poll. poll. Yeah. It shows that Joe Biden, first of all, state of the race, 32 21 19 generally kind of what we've been seeing. However, Kenesha, what we've seen is that impeachment has made almost no impact on the Democratic race. This is particularly noteworthy to me because Elizabeth Warren has probably been the single biggest proponent of impeachment in the Democratic field. What do you think about the lack of resonance that, that, that we've seen there for her? Uh, I yeah. think that folks might not believe the mm -hmm. impeachment is going to be a thing that happens. Yeah, I, I think the folks that I talk to are like, oh, really, he's going to get impeached? Cool. Yeah. Sure. Well, uh, he's not going to be removed from office. Yeah. I mean, that is the reality. Yeah. Is It's like, you know, a more formalization of what they've already been doing, essentially. Right. And so I think that's the thing that's kind of got people like, it's great that she has been behind impeachment this whole time, but mm -hmm. I don't know that this is going to translate into anything that matters for the 2020 election. Mm -hmm. that's, a, that's a good point. What, what do you think, Chrissy? Um, I personally think yeah. that the entire impeachment yeah. discussion is actually doing more for Trump than it is for any of the 2020 candidates. Mm -hmm. I think what you're seeing is uh, a large apathetic base for yeah. Trump, considering what his entire presidency has been. And now we're looking at a, a very pol a politicized yeah. uh, impeachment inquiry. And now we're, I think that that is going to drive out the moderate base. I think that's a good point, which is if you look at the Trump base, there were people, yeah, they didn't necessarily get what they want. They didn't get anything on, on immigration. They didn't get, you know, all they got was this tax cut bill. And then at the same, <laughs> but at the same time, people are trying to delegitimize and remove him from office. He raised $35 million after the impeachment thing. I mean, he's raising printing money off of this inquiry. And yet, the total lack of impact here tells us that even though the Democratic base, Kenesha, may want impeachment, that it's not something that, that they viscerally care about. I think it's more about if you're on the other side of the issue. Yeah. That, so if you're against impeachment, they might be upset, but it's not, if you're for it, it's not a differentiator. I think yeah. that the folks who are like very serious about and for impeachment were probably already supporting Warren or by, uh, right. Sanders or uh -huh. Kamala or somebody. You, I mean, they're all for impeachment at this point. Right. Exactly. Right. I don't think there's a. So I mean, I think yeah. that's. I think that's right. It's. It's. Everybody's against Trump. Like right. you don't even yeah. need to say it. Like <laughs> right. obviously, everybody wants to beat Trump. Yeah. Yeah. One of the things I think is interesting about this is that it does not move Joe Biden's numbers. Yeah. I expected that even that's though they've been cleared of everything, that people would be like, well, wait, what is this thing? Can we ask some more questions? I thought this would be mm -hmm. another in a series of things that stresses me and other folks out about Joe Biden, but folks don't seem to be worried about it. Yeah. I mean, we saw this some in the midterms as well, where look, Trump is. Trump is on cable news all day long, every day. He's a fixation on Twitter, right? He is always playing in the background. And the Democratic candidates really didn't talk about him that much because they didn't have to, right? Everybody else was making the case all the time. And I would encourage, you know, the, the Democratic presidential candidates to kind of do the same. Look, we all know Trump is bad. Right. On our, you know, that's the view coming from the left. Like, we get it. Yeah. So focus on, okay, if you're president, what is the affirmative vision? Which I actually think they've done a fairly decent job of doing. I think that one, like, to answer your question, yeah. kind of what why Joe Biden's numbers aren't moving is because there are a lot of moderate Democrats that don't want to believe that yeah. the party is either polling so far left that they're mm -hmm. going towards Elizabeth Warren or that they're losing their moderate candidate and their moderate candidate is actually corrupt. Mm -hmm. so. No, I think I think that's that's the right point. You know, it's interesting. We had Tulsi on the show, um, and she was talking about how she was like, look, I'm running against Trump. I obviously don't want him to be reelected. She's like, but that doesn't mean that we have to fall into so many of these traps. And actually, speaking of her, so, um, she came out on the show. First, she said that the uh, transcript did not show a compelling case for impeachment. She changed her mind shortly after, about 24 hours. But she has a new tweet urging some of her compatriots in the race not to fundraise off of impeachment because it shows that it's a political process. What do you think, Kenesha? Because I definitely do notice this. Whenever Democratic candidates come out and they call for something, it's like yeah. a total moral stand. And then they just print money off of what they're doing. It just it plays right in the Republican hands, yeah. right? Impeachment yeah. is a political process. Though. Yeah. And so no, I you're think right. to you're say, right. like, oh, yeah. don't fundraise off of mm -hmm. it and don't make it political is kind mm -hmm. of to ignore some of the things that we clearly know about it. Mm -hmm. It doesn't go unless politicians make it go. And, and to say, again, that it doesn't make sense to to fundraise off of it is to try to divorce it from politics in ways that it's not actually divorced from politics. Yeah. Impeachment is political. 
Huh. That's that's a fair point. What do you think, Chrissy? Well, impeachment is political. It's yeah. very ironic to see people that have been in office, like Nancy Pelosi, who was there during the Bill Clinton impeachment, and yeah. sitting there saying, this is politicized. People yeah. just want him out of office. Um, and yet, all these years later, she's saying the exact same thing. The issue is that it's a people see that hypocrisy. And whenever you're Absolutely. fundraising off of it, they're saying, oh, this is not real. This is a, you know, this is an obvious political stunt. And that by this politi politicization just feeds into both narratives. And I think we're all worse off for it. That's the real issue. I yeah. mean, like, yeah. Trump printing money off of impeachment and not what he's actually done is a problem. And Democrats printing money off of impeachment and not on what they're actually going to do for the country is yeah. also a problem. I, I even find yeah. it sort yeah. of unseemly. I saw a, a prominent politician earlier today tweet, like, retweet this for impeachment and like it for resignation. Yeah. And <laughs> I mean, it's just, again, like, okay, that's oh, how, God. yes, it's Twitter, but, yeah. you know, using this, which should be a very serious moment with a lot of gravity to, like, right. up your Twitter followers <laughs> and get some more cash into your account, yeah. Yeah. it looks gross. The grift is real. It looks right? gross, yeah. but I think that we have been gross for a minute. Donald yeah. Trump is the president, right? And so I think that I it's like, I can't deny that. we got to, once we kind of come to yeah. terms with the fact that our president is a reality star and that all of American politics shifted to be as ridiculous as mm -hmm. he is, then we can kind of, you know, do better. But we got to start from like first acknowledging <laughs> that craziness is happening yeah. and then we can walk back this stuff. I don't but know. To I just think say, it was always, uh, I think it was always reality. It was just kind of shitty reality. And yeah. now, uh, so, and it's like he made it, he just turned the dial up just a little bit. It's the first at least they he understood. I mean, uh, I think it's fair to say he yeah. understood the reality yeah. of the game yeah. that we were already <laughs> all playing. Right. Um, ladies, stick with us. Yeah. We got more. We want to get to great. fundraising numbers after a quick break.